tutorial on creating a container in SketchUp with a lid. All right, here we go. I'm going to get rid of my initial ob object that's in the model. And here we go. We're going to make a rectangle, letter R. And I'm going to make it exactly the size that I want by... I can click right now and then just start typing. So maybe I want it to be 10 cm, comma, 12 cm. And you can see in the bottom corner, actually, I'll make that a bit smaller. I told you not to make it too big. So comma 8 cm, the bottom right hand corner. And I can now press enter. And now we have our rectangle the right size. I'm going to start by making, giving this some thickness so it will print with the bottom. So I'm going to press the letter P for push-pull. Lift it up, uh, maybe two millimeters. I type that in and hit enter. I notice that my units are in inches. So I'm going to get rid of that. Over on the right-hand side, there is our model info button. Change it to millimeters, and at least one decimal place is helpful. So now I know that my 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 object will be different in millimeters now. So I'm going to next make my walls. I'm going to offset. So it's letter F. Click, drag. And I want my walls to be maybe 2 millimeters thick. So I'll type in 2 mm. Hit enter. And that 2 mm corresponds to the distance between the inside line here and the outside edge of my model. The next thing I can do now is I can push pull. And now I had that selected, so I do actually have to select this channel first, and now I can push pull. So selecting is using the space bar, clicking, and then now I'm using the letter P to get to push pull. Click on that, pull it up. Maybe I want this to be, how about five centimeters tall? Hit enter, type in five CM and hit then hit enter. Remember, I do not need to move my mouse down into this area in order to type. You just click using the tool and then just start typing. All right, so I've got a container, and now I need a lid. So the easiest way to do this, take your Select tool, click on the bottom, go Copy. So Control-C, or else right-click and choose the Copy function. Go beside it, paste it, so Control-V, or right-click and choose the middle one. Now this piece is exactly the same size as the piece inside here which should be exactly the same size as the opening at the top. If they're exactly the same size, this will not fit in there. But here's what we can do. I'm going to choose to offset and make my lid a little bit bigger. This will be bigger than my surface here. I could make it exactly the same size if I wanted. Then the next step, what I'm going to do is I am going to push and pull this up. Maybe I just want a 2 mm, so I'll do 2 millimeters again, hit enter. I'm going to click on the middle and just start lifting and then move my mouse over <clears throat> onto this surface. When I do that, I tell SketchUp, I want this surface to be at the exactly the same height as this surface, and now I can click. And now these two are exactly the same height, which is kind of nice. The next thing I want to do now is just push-pull up some more, give it some thickness. So now my lid will have a bit of an insert that will go into this box. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this part smaller so that there's a taper along this edge. To do that, I will press the space bar to select that surface. I'm going to press S to scale it. So think of size or scale, the letter S. My green dots are there. Now watch what happens if I click on a corner. It just kind of skews it one way. And that's not very helpful for us. So while I'm using this tool, if I hold down Control, I now scale around the center. I can make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and click. Now this gives me a taper. So this should fit into the hole now. And if I give it a little push, it should create a friction fit so that this lid will stay on this container right here. And now we've got a container and a lid. They work together. Your job then is to be sure you design a container to fit a particular object so that it fits fairly closely and I know you didn't just make a box and then stuff something into it. All right. Uh, best of luck. Be sure to ask questions if you have any.